that 20k totally just wiped out my mercenary. <laughs> my one, one mercenary? My one lone mercenary. <laughs> 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 the poor bastard. Hey folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play European Battles 4 with Briarstone. Greetings. And we are busy taking advantage of the Mamluks, although taking advantage of them in a way that is not what we had hoped, because it would have been nice to take some territory. <laughs> Yeah, we both did the same thing. We had a humiliation <sighs> cast a spelly, and we so decided to choose that one, and by accident. Yep. Scandalous. Yep, indeed. Oh well. Uh, oh well. Keep doing some exploration. So I did just send out my first colonist. I sent them out to uh, to Mahi, mm -hmm. which uh, has no aggressive natives whatsoever. So that's gonna go well to just do that. I mean, it doesn't really expand my range in any meaningful way, but it may as well take it. Oh, I got purchase an ability. Hang on a sec. And the Siege of Alexandria is done as well. Um, what ability? I still have missionaries. I might take the institution spread. I know it's like it hasn't really spread to us yet. Right, but it's uh, if you got it, then I would probably get it faster. Because you're going to be bordering the Ottomans who are going to get it first. And you have really good relations with them. Yeah, I mean, it's still going to take them a while to do it. The other thing would be nice is trade steering or the prestige for every conversion, since I've got a fair bit of conversion to do. Mm -hmm. I mean, if it makes your decision any more, I was also tossing around the idea of just uh, speeding up colonialism by way of uh, development. Right. Well, I'm going to take the institution spread regardless. Okay. And... Because I'm looking at what go. it's going to cost me right now to just... Grab some of these technologies. 712 right now. It's only going to get worse at 19% penalty. Um, They've been humiliated, and there's war reps. Okay, cool. And I can get overseas exploration for more range, which will be good. I'm losing money right now, but I can apply this money, perhaps, mm -hmm. build a few more temples. Conversion successful. Let's lower our maintenance. Bam. And drop all of our forts. So what am I looking at right now? Three gold per turn. That's with the colony as well. Mm -hmm. But only one advisor still. I think that's the thing I'm going to do is just try to keep the money around. It sucks to not have a whole lot of dough. Mm, but yeah. hopefully colonialism will uh, will save me from that. This is just... Oh, yeah, no colonists. Is meant. May as well finish this first, probably. How did I lose the... Did I... Oh, I see what I did wrong. Drop out. Who? <laughs> I got a... I got, look at this little army of 0, 0.0k marching across the... I got an army of nobody. Oh. Marching across the land. <laughs> oh, shit. Protect trade. And protect trade. There we go. It's an army of ghosts. Hmm. Okay. Hormuz, are you still allied with people who might be scary? A little bit. Not much, but a little bit. Ottoman's still blobbing out. Austria's still blobbing out. Oh, Brittany it took a chunk out of, well, probably like um, Provence or something. Mm hmm. Got Anjou. Brittany's like bigger than you normally see. Maybe I should just do it on coffee. Do I do it to coffee or ivory? Ooh, ivory is a good one. Are they which which one is more expensive? Coffee? Um, I think ivory is. You can click on the province and see. I think ivory's worth four. Coffee's worth three. Yeah. I don't see it where that says four or three. If you click on a province and you look at the bottom right corner of that page, and it's got the little picture of ivory or whatever, oh, and then it says four. Like, yeah. Okay. I had no idea. The amount that's worth. Now, some of these uh, values can fluctuate over the course of the game, of course. Oh, wow. Hold on. What is this? Oh, this is copper, which is 4.5. Is it really? Yeah. Slaves are worth two. Wow. Why is copper worth so goddamn much? Huh. 
Um, I, maybe it's a, a time period thing? Does it, yeah, does there it might have worse? been an event or something. Uh, I need more men for our army. Medrabari, please. Give me men. I could get prestige. Uh, I'm going to do... Oh, establish new world missions. Command support. There they are. That's the way we want to do things. Jesus. So many things all at once. I'm like trying to decide something and I was like, oh no, have this one to look at now. Oh wait, this one too. Uh, this offense will not be forgotten. Broken promises. What? I could have got prestige and they decided not to give it to me. Boo. Did I? Wait. I fucked up and gave the wrong area to the wrong area. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I gave uh, Coastal Center of Trade to the Emirs at some point, which is not what I would have wanted. Whoops. Oh, wait, shit. I'm also full up on uh, Monarch powers. Which one? Oh, my military. Oh, balls. Um, how much does it cost me if I was to go right now? I'll... It's going to cost me 1157 to do it now. Of course, it'll be at Tech 11, and I'm nine years ahead of time. That's wow! Pretty, that's pretty stupid. That should, <laughs> that'd be the dumbest damn thing I did all day. I mean, if you're just about to war or some shit, then yeah, but... Mm -hmm. Otherwise. So um, I'm, already so I'm getting two gold per month from that. Yeah, eh? Mm -hmm. Let's just do that for now. It's actually paying for my colony. Which is nice. Could move my capital to here. Stand in the capital on top of ivory. And the next level is going to be the global settler increase. That's a really powerful one. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry, I got to still pause. Sorry, uh, there you go. Um, let's see, why isn't anything moving? <laughs> All right, a couple more temples being built. So, CB against Balmanis. Okay, it's starting to... Uh, the coast of... Um, like the easternmost edge of the Mediterranean, the Ottoman and Mamluckian territory, mm -hmm. is starting to be influenced with colonialism now. So it'll get there. How much longer do you think? A long time, really. A while. Do I want to do this next level? I don't know what the courthouse is. What else am I going to do with the men? Well, I suppose I could level up one of my my bits, but maybe my capital, since I do have a mosque there. There we go. Bugger it. Bugger the whole damn thing. Okay. Now my army is back up to snuff. I'm making 10 gold per tick. Nice. Right, do I have an ability to get some claims over here? Not yet. I need 30 to get claims. Woo! You know what? I will develop just so that I've got an extra slot in my capital here. Today is a good day. I got 20 prestige for no damn reason. I love it. Ooh, coffee imports. More mercantilism. I'm probably gonna take trade ideas. Not not next, but soonish. Mm, fair enough. Clergy gets a little bit of land. Nobility needs a little bit of land. Is there anything else I can do with my spy network here? Support Mamluckian rebels. Oh, I still have to spend money for that. Workshop's done. One thing that'll help our economy a lot is when we can build the actual workshop buildings. Right. Which, 11, 11. Yeah, so tech level 11 is the first one that that comes up with. <clears throat> so really any time now. Mamluks would marry me, which is interesting. But again, yeah, they still wouldn't ally. It's a persistent problem. Now, Malwa. I wonder if I can get an Indian ally or something. Something that might be able to mess with Bahmanis. Or not Bahmanis, with Baluchistan. It's my relationship limit. I'm at three of four. I think that might be a good idea. Now, I probably won't be able to re 
to marry them. Yeah, we might be able to at some point. <laughs> we have too many relationships. Maybe I'll just... Renewing loans. Ooh, we've got some people with some pretty high influence here. Just looking at... Um... Because I, I don't know if you want to look at the uh, in the institution now. Uh huh. Take a look. Oh, did you spend points on there? Yep. Nice. Spent it on the. Uh, I didn't spend it on the on the copper, although that probably would have been a little bit more effective in terms of cash. I don't know if it's going to last that way. I know mm, ivory that... will last. So. Yeah. No, I think you did good. So we're going to get, it's going to be a little bit less time for us to get it. It's going to put us ahead of everybody we don't like. Yeah, and we'll probably have to do another one after, but for now that's good. Because uh, 21%, yeah, depending on how fast it, it spreads, it actually might uh, hit just perfect. Might. Uh, I could get in the admin tech, but no, no. I'll save that. If I hit my cap here, I'm going to go up to speed four since we're not warring. If I hit my cap on things, I'll do a little bit of development just to whatever. I am currently making basically 14 ducats per tick. So um, I should be able to buy or just embrace this, and you should be able to get it a lot sooner. And if, of course, the, the Ottomans embrace sooner too, then you'll get like double hits. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I think it still has to spread to their individual provinces. It doesn't auto-teleport, but it's still going to help. Mm -hmm. 400 diplomatic power to buy this idea. Hmm. Diplomatic annexation cost. There you go. Tax money. It might be worth doing. Or this. I'm already still behind in this, so I feel like I'm just going to let that go by. I'm going to wait for my institutions to embrace, and then I'm going to buy my diplomatic technology and my admin technology, which I'm super far behind in. I've only got eight admin tech. I think that's where I am. No, I'm at seven. I'm yeah. seven, seven, ten. Jesus. I've been coring a lot, although so have you, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. Of course, and I've had some admins. really interesting events. I don't know if they have been helping me, but... God damn it, Mombasa, do I not have a CB against you? Oh, I have CBs against you. <laughs> of course I do. I can crush you. When is my uh, truce up with you? Do I have a truce with you? I don't have a truce with um, Mombasa. Hmm. Oh, that sounds good. Well, well, well. Who do you have allies with? Moravi. Oh, shit, Moravi, though. That's a powerhouse. Oh, except, no, it's not. Moravi would have to get through Kilwa, which is to say what? Kilwa would not let them through. They don't have to, though, because there's a lot of land in between that's just empty. They'll have to fight. <laughs> They'll have to fight natives along the way, but they could definitely help. Well, I almost think that I want to do this. They're still at Miltech 8. Mombasa is at Miltech 10, but I'm at Miltech 11, I think. Or am I? Or 10. All right. I think when my island gets to about halfway colonized, I'll pull the uh, colonist out and start on a second one. Mm -hmm. I'll go and do this. I like the colonization missions. They're very good. That one's going to complete any second, actually. I think the turn it into a city, I think it completes as soon as it hits 400 settlers. I'm not sure. Maybe that's to fully colonize it, but still. Balmanis. Nah, yeah, you've still got too many things. Oh my god, Malwa's being eaten. Yeah, I'm definitely still going to try to make a few friends over in uh, India. I have decided to declare war. My whole idea was to work my way south to Kilwa. And right now, that's really working. K 
Kill was actually yeah, keep... in war right now with. Uh... Yeah, well, I don't know if you can see Madagascar, but like people are sieging that stuff out. Wow. Oh wait, no, that's uh, Sakalava taking on Kilwa because Kilwa had some. Yeah. Sakalava's just trying to get their lands back. It seems. Mm. She can't seem to say that as I blame him. No, it's kind of legit. Friends with more neighbors. I'm Let's gonna siege this limit. out. Pate's gonna be sieged immediately. I have no hate for Pate, but they are in the way. <laughs> mm -hmm. Plague? Uh oh, yeah, quarantine. That's what I did anyway. Yeah. Can't let that stuff spread. No. Indeed not. You know what? I should still be spying on these guys, actually. More more prestige for no reason. I got claims that could be fabricating all the way up and down the coast. Keep them fresh, so I've already got always got a war option. Now, when does my truce expire? Okay, the Ottomans are about to break uh, end their truce with the uh, the Mamluks. Uh, can we go speed three, please? Actually. Uh, yep. Yeah. Actually, your truce the Mamluks just ended, by the way. Oh, did it? Well, that's helpful, yeah, because I, I didn't really do a lot with them anyway. Or to them, I should yeah. say. Mine's still on for another six years, because I did actually piece them out for a little bit more stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. I regret nothing, but it is what happened. I think we're okay there. Is it possible for me to get these guys out of this? Oh, hold on. Ho, 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 ho. What happened? Am I at war with them? No, I am only at war with Mombasa. Mamba oh, wow. When I declared war on Mombasa, I thought Moravi was going to come in. It said that they would, but apparently mm -hmm. when I did click it, it didn't happen. So I'm at war with only Mombasa. That's hilarious. I'm totally going to win this. I need another merchant. Yeah, I've only got two. They're not doing me a whole lot of good at the moment. Uh, there's that. Oh, it'll be nice when I get the expansion and then the trade powers. I think it's going to be a big deal. Okay, I guess for the city is, is the one that you have to finish it. Finish it. All right, I guess make it a colony. Yeah, okay. That's what I'm getting confused about. Getting confused gated. Plus one missionary strength. That's going to be handy. Oh, there you go. Ottomans going after the Mamluks. Okay. As expected. Um, tell them to the true faith. Missionary strength. Yeah, take the missionary strength. Peace offer from Mombasa. You don't make the offers, I make the offers. Get on my level. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. I should cancel that building. I'm going to start it over here. Cancel. All right, thank you very much for. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. But that's what happens when I get a DM from someone, because oh. what happens is I get Twitter mm -hmm. notifies me, and then it also sends a text message to my phone. So I get like multiple <laughs> alerts from the redundancies. It's to make sure I don't miss DMs. But well, I put it on the do not disturb now. There you go. <laughs> so no, no, seriously, this is a very important thing. Mm -hmm. Gain that admin. Yeah, baby. These are both 11. I mean, they're going to have the 75% autonomy, but still. And it's not like it's trading in my direction. Yeah, I should really focus on going east. These Truce guys are still mad. Hadiyah is still mad at me. After all these years, I told them, hey, no, you can't be Sunni. Mm -hmm. And they're still mad at me. Whoa! Oh, Medri feeling its oats, going to war against the Mamluks. War that they have started. Um, I don't. <laughs> oh, wait though, it is a problem because I was going to go to war with them in a moment. Uh huh. But if I go the, yeah. now, there's yeah. no guarantee I'll get what I want. That's true. You could break your truce with Medri and then just be like, okay, now I'm going to eat you. That <laughs> is true. Mamluks beat up. That is true. 
It's I a bit don't know. cold, but it might be the way it has to be. I mean, they're okay as an ally. They're not the best ally. The thing is, I'm going to need somebody to go to war against Killua. Mm hmm. Right? And there's nobody else down here. It's just those guys. I don't know. If I accept. And then I just make a unit and just, just have a 1k unit just go through and get the, the lands that I want. <laughs> I wonder if that'll work. You know what? That's what I'm going to do. Check this out. You're going to like this. All right, right now, I'm going to go ahead and build a mercenary unit. In Berber. <laughs> and then when they're grown, I'm going to accept it. I'm going to jump over to Suakin and hopefully... Actually, may as well just do it now. Accept. So I'll be against the Mamluks. Fine. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Come on, dude. Ally with Lucasstan. That's interesting. Get it, 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 get it. Sorry, I'm excited. No, they got there first. Okay, I'll get this one. Damn it. What about Makuria? Oh, they're one of your allies as well. Yeah. Damn it. They got the one I wanted, though. How's that institution spread? Oh, it's finally starting to spread into my territory. So is it? Good. That's starting. Not from you, but from the Ottomans. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, yours hasn't spread to the coast yet. Still, it'll help if I want to embrace it cheaply. Oh, wait, you know what? You know what they did? Mm -hmm. Occupied by Ethiopia. They totally captured they it, it, but they flipped it uh -huh. to me. Aww. That's sweet of them. What? That is so <laughs> nice. They are the best. Hmm. Uh, oh, that's caused them to lose. Okay, let me do that. That's amazing. They're the best ever. See, here I was talking shit about how terrible they are. Uh huh. No, they're bros. Super helpful. Why did they go to war with them then? I don't understand. Ethiopian I, conquest it, of Afgui. Oh, does, that's, wait, that's another one. Of it does seem a little bit odd. Oh, they want Jeddah. They want the other side. Oh. Um. That's oh, interesting. Shit. Well, I can try to get over there and help them, but oh, I mean, I don't want to do that. Never mind, because you want that. Say, I I have a claim on it, but I whatever. I mean, you could declare against them, and be like, "Hey, help me! Ethiopia, Yemen's attacking. Ah, loser. No. Well, if you take it, you could always sell it to me. Well, yeah, I don't know. Too. Although at this point, the Ottomans might end up taking a huge chunk out of that. The Ottomans are, are, are ruining my plans of of eating our way up the uh, the Red Sea here. The Ottomans will have to be stopped at some point, and I don't know how that's going to happen. It's interesting. I could just clear that offer. Hold on for a second. Ethiopian vassal. You know what? Mombasa is going to be my vassal, which means I'm going to be in instantaneous war against Kilwa. That's fine, I think. Oh wait, that's Marava and no. Okay, they won't be. They won't be fighting me. They actually already peaced out. So I'm going to sue for peace, and I'm going to make uh, these guys my vassal. That works for me. I'm going to take their money too because I don't want them angry. So Mombasa wants to come into a coalition, but so is Kilwa, but that's fine. Let's demand that. Years before my truce runs out. Four four. God damn it. I've only got four four relations. Could throw a bunch of money into a second colony, but I think that would be a little bit crazy. Hmm. Oh, the Ottomans are done. That figures. Okay, then I'm going to have one second pause. I got to get this this idea done. Okay, right, so we're going to do what to these guys? Sue for peace. I could just make them uh, a vassal, but it's going to be a problem. They're not going to like me for a while. Mm -hmm. It's going to cause me a uh, coalition, well, with Kilwa, whatever. I don't care. Come at me, bro. You know what? It's in demand. Get the money, it's in demand. I'm taking uh, Mombasa as my own. 
hundred more years before that core goes away. So, all right. <clears throat> so the Mamluks are now reeling. I have finished that war. I've got five or four diplomatic relations. Almost makes me want to break my ties with Mercuria. Do I have a, a marriage with you? Royal marriage with Ethiopia. Shit. So I'll keep you for now. Let's max out our sucking up over here. I already did that before. We might be able to get something done with Hormuz. How's that institution? Hey, we can repay a loan. I am out of loans, finally. Oh shit, I just lost a uh, battle. Oh man. The 20k totally just wiped out my mercenary. <laughs> My one, one mercenary? My one lone mercenary. <laughs> <laughs> the poor bastard. Never had a chance. Oh well. One thing I should do still is check out the Maldives if they do really have troops there, but I'm pretty sure they would still have some. Uh, total troops zero? Wait, 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 wait. Mm hmm. What do you have right oh, now? They have rebels and shit. Nine. Holy crap. I don't know if I can squoosh those. What's your military tech over here, buddy? Eight. I don't know how strong your rebels are. Sorry, Mamluks, but here I am. Here to crush your hopes and dreams. Well, I guess we'll find out. They lost a lot of men in that one. Who, buddy? Did they ever? Okay. Carry on. So they want Jeddah. So if they go all the way around and get to Jeddah, that's going to be interesting. Minus two, no CB. Boom. Minus two, what? Oh, you? Oh, no CB. Who? Uh, Maldives. Oh wow, cool. Let's go and see if a two to one ratio is going to suffice here. Not sure that it will. Only against rebels, though. Mm-hmm. Come on, let's do it. Where are they going? Whatever. You know what? I'm going to seed your capital. You can go wherever you want. Excellent. Uh, I'll start. I, maybe I should boost my piety after all. Um, oops. Pause, pause, pause. Mm -hmm. uh, whoa, we are definitely getting some serious attrition. Go and dock. Because I do actually have a fair bit of stuff to convert. Yeah. Nah, no. Piety's for suckers. I'm at negative 100 piety. I get 20% more national tax, 20% more manpower, 10% discount to tech, although I'm not really in a position to tech right now until we get our thingamabobs, but still pretty good. Here come the Mamluks. That's a lot. How big of a thing is this? 18k. That is a pretty big thing. I think I'll have to fight them though. Pretty sure I got these guys. Come on. Bring it on. Bring it on. Totally gonna kick ass. Take names. Oh shit, they're rolling well. Are they rolling better than me? <laughs> come on, come on. I know they got the defensive bonus, but seriously, seriously, I got the extra tech. Come on! Nee. God, that's close! Come on! What the hell? No! No! 
You pieces of shit! How the hell did you do that? Got beaten by the Mamluks? Yes! Their capital? Oh, man. That's rough. You bastards. That's okay. I'm gonna kick ass in a moment. I'm gonna run back right over there. I, I should have killed them. Money. They have 11,000 troops. There's no reason for them to have won that. I started rolling like shit, though. That was really bad. Are you still mad at me? Oops. Who's mad at me? You're fine. Core. All right, that should help my expansion towards the Spice Islands a little bit. Start to become a colonial power. Nice thing is, if you keep working your way down to the Cape, it's going to be uh, we're going to have a nice edge against some European powers. Hmm. There's got to be a way I can do this. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Fast, 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 fast. There we go. Send that mission. Oh, wait, no. Shit, no. God damn it. I don't want to go across the river. There we go. Time that. They still got nine. Use caution. No. Throw caution to the wind. Oh my god, I've got maximum military power again. I realized I was doing that wrong. I had a heavy ship in this. Explore. Explore. Hmm. You. Protect trade in here. And you get mothballed. Thank you. I'm gonna do this. What's your next idea? Plus one colonists. Yeah! Nice. Alright, let's take a look at our colonial range. I can actually colonize down towards the Cape. Right next to Kilwa. Now, that doesn't help my immediate financial things, but helps to block Earp down there, which has some value. I think I gotta go this way. Get more trade flowing into us so we can make a bunch more cash. I can't believe they actually have a such a stronger in, initial morale boost. Yeah. They may have taken some ideas for it. If they took defensive... No, they've got religious and offensive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Cotton imports. All right, sure. You're cool. Oh, time's up. Oh, is it? Apparently, when I'm on Do Not Disturb, it doesn't actually ring the frickin' alarm clock timer. That's like the entire opposite of what I want. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Stupid phone. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> Very good, then. We'll put a cut in here. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you next time. Absolutely. Later. If there is anything about this video that you did indeed enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content such as this, and I'll see you again later. And if you're feeling super generous, please check out the Patreon site where you can support me if you have the means and know that I will be eternally grateful. Have a good day, have a good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Briar Stone, signing out.